welcome. We have any changes to the meeting, to the agenda? We have an addition, sorry. Uh, addition for a liquor license. Okay. Passed. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that two cents? It is the VFW. Yeah, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> if you want to get into trouble, oh. that would be a good way to do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if this is on. I thought I was going to be on the agenda, but apparently it's done. No, we'll That's discuss it during the morning. The bill? The bill? Yes, we'll discuss it. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's in all of the um, the only other thing is Dean uh, Knock came in to see me uh, late on this week. He is accepting the office appointment for the town health officer. Oh, okay. Uh, I got the paperwork already set up for Jen, and I'll officially his official day for his volunteer duties I've set for tomorrow. Oh, great. So he is going to be covering uh, both of them. Awesome. Great. Okay. We should read that because that's all good. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kate and Lee, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we need to. Dean Locke. Dean Locke. Okay. Yeah, Locke. From Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. He came to us and wanted to know. Well, I mean, because he's, he's worked with the, <clears throat> with the, with the animals. Sorry, I've never seen this. He's right. Okay. Um, let's see the quickies. All right, town meeting. Preparation and we have our moderator here. Um, well, it all looks pretty simple. We know Deanna's gonna move from the formula that we increase their money. See what happens. <clears throat> How much you know? Yeah, they want the 1600. I remember when we looked at, you know, what the sort of the half year was, was it was going to end up being probably around 750 and And their argument was that they put their, uh, well, but when reappraisal comes in, they'll need more. And that they work in the field and we don't. Okay. So what, which article will you be making that motion on? I'm not making it. It's coming from the floor. She just gave us the coming from the floor. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, they told us it's coming from the floor. I assume well, someplace when we're talking about budget. Right. Hopefully they're going to do it then. Yeah. 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 I would think so. Or if they were before, that's the that's the appropriate place to do it. Right. Do we not have anybody online? Oh, 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 Hi, Kim. So, so far we're on number two for town meeting preparation. Um, discussed the increase to listeners' compensation that may be brought to the floor at town meeting. And we've added the liquor license approval and Dean Locke had, um, as help officer for the town of Hyde Park. No action has been taken. Thank you. So it all, it all looks... I was um, I sort of thought maybe when we start, I get up and run through all the all the folks that are in the office now, sort of in who's doing what, because it really is, you know, if you don't happen to have anything to do with it, it kind of officially introduce and here's the structure and here's what you need, just to let people know that. And and mention all the road crew too, because they're, you know, just give everybody a a shout out at town meeting would be a good thing to do. Well, we have a new hire for the town too that they approved, right? That was last year. So, right? So, we added that new hire? That yeah. new hire? Oh, right. Right. So, it'd be a good time right. to explain all that. Right. Right. So you want to do that before the meeting even begins? Well, no, we follow the order and we start, and then I'll, when they get up and What's say a few things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Make everybody happy. I won't tell them the bad part about all the expensive new equipment down the road that we're going to need. <laughs> so I'll just, say that to the end. So I'll just call for order and turn it over to you at that point. Yeah, we say, yeah, we'll get them. Okay.
Um, and we'll see if folks have questions from the floor about the budget. We'll, um, we'll endeavor to answer them. It's it's usually page eighteen is sort of really the one that people are interested in. That's the that's the quick summary. Uh, yeah. Um, is there books that soon Oh yeah. Um, you know, and then oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Thank you. Yeah, but the only I realized when looking at this, um, there I'll wait. I'll wait till I'm done. I yeah. Okay. No, no problem. Wait till everybody got there. But it, it's um, this this page is always a little bit nice summary and makes it pretty easy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, right, on page 18, where you go down in the expenses and the increased costs um, to cover village water fees to the town fire station. That actually is that's like a month. It's a lot more than seven thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars more. Yeah. And so and that's thousand dollars a year. Well, and and that and then there's your water charge on top of it, right? No, that's no, not. that's everything. We don't it's not metered, so it's just a one set flat rate. Okay, so it's just a flat two thousand. Yeah. The seven's probably up above and beyond what it used to be. Probably maybe. Do you know what I mean? That's the yeah. increase to the budget from prior. Year. Right. I don't think the last couple of years we haven't really budgeted enough for it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that right. like it was like budgeted at like seventeen thousand. Okay. Right. right. So the it's cost is, is more, is, okay. but the increase is seven. Increase yeah. Is seven. So, so, so. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> the one. Yeah, subtracted. Here it is. Just for people to understand that. Um, anything else? People have questions. Anything? I got to be famous last words. I got to be easy. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk about the. Yeah, don't don't react up yet. We'll talk. We'll talk about the. Uh, um. You know, this well, actually, two of the things in starting with it that I want to talk about before we can get into are the are the arrangements we're making with other towns, how we're doing it, you know, with the we're appraising and how we're we're attempting to work on that with the with the dogs. And I think um Ultimately, small towns will end up doing it with their health officer as well. <clears throat> because right now, people are booked, and we'll get what the stipend is, but these people are not going to continue to do it at that kind of stipend. These are going to turn into jobs that you've got to figure out how to, you know, how, how to pay for them. I um, mean, certainly the dog issues are getting more complicated. <clears throat> health officers can. You know, they can end up spending a lot of hours for a couple of weeks in a difficult situation. And people aren't going to volunteer to do that. So we'll see. We'll, we'll, and, and again, I sort of was talking about these interlocal agreements. Which is my Moderator Nesky, you got any questions? Looks easy. The big one was just leading off and it was okay. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, right. Sorry. Sure. Me and Seth had a couple of uh, a long discussion about this, and we came to the conclusion both uh, out of respect for us as Hyde Park, North Hyde Park, and the LCPC. We're going to put it on the back burner to give it a few more. We got up to 60 days before we had to make the final decision. Uh, I didn't see any recourse like you were asking about uh, added fees or charges as of right now. I didn't see any. I called the respective okay. stakeholders involved. Uh, but we'd like to put it on the back burner because there has been uh, calls to LCPC uh, about this. So I will just have to see how to move forward and, and we'll strategize a different way, maybe to see if there's a better feedback. So no committee meetings, right? Until then? Uh, nothing that I know of, and I've talked to Stephen about it. So I think I think the uh, zoning committee is still on board for squashing it. But as a respective party to and with LCPC, I think it'd be best just to put it on the back burner for right now and see what we can move forward with a different direction. I think regarding the committee, the only thing is the signs and the um, for North Head Park, because we need someone to get on the grants for that. And I don't think it's any of the current boards that we have. It's a member of the ISC or the ISC that would be doing it. So, and we need to approve a bid, which I think would probably be the select board that would approve that. Oh, right. We'd probably want to know how much money we have and have someone go through the designs, which would be the ISC. So it'd be good to get together within a month, I think, just to start the process. Yeah. I think you, you're on a meeting now, James, right? I am. Just make sure I'm getting it. Yeah. Yes. Send to your Hyde Park and Yeah, you send to my Hyde Park, but I don't respond. But tell me then. They send them to the most. Yeah, we'll send you like, I'm not going to let the Kim, will send me like, hey, I'm not sure if you can clean up my town one day. She said I had to go through the that, security, but I'm sick. I don't get a security notification. Oh. So I don't I don't know how to do it. So, I don't know. Are you, are you yeah. on the fourth <laughs> Monday at 5 30? You just tell me to be there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, yeah send, send several notes though. Sure. Okay. I practiced at seven on Mondays. So, seven. Okay. I'm not by like seven on five. Okay. We're not on this. <laughs> well, not many other days, but there. That's all works that way. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. PBR 4155. Without the personnel policy. Yeah. And so we're going to PBR 4155. Well, yeah, that's that's what's next on the agenda. Is that the that's no, the personnel. Is personnel policy. That already I know you already fixed some Ohio. I'm like, I didn't want to be upset, but I'm like, I'm gonna be <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, updated personnel policy. Sorry about that. I know Jen, Jen is online and she can speak to that, but I passed out her memo and the added information and the changes to that personnel policy. Jen, Jen, Sorry. No. And I sat with Jen for a couple of hours. Um, she was going over all of the things that she found and things that we needed to update. Um, and she did I give her a shout out. And she did exceptional. She did an exceptional job on the changes that need to be made. My only question was, is I don't see it in here. I don't remember. I think it was in the email. But is that they you can carry over three hundred hours of ETO? No, you can't carry. Uh, you can't. They lose it. Up to lose it. But you can build up to three. So if you have two hundred ninety nine. You could build up to, but then at that date, it got to be. Uh, what, what you don't get a world key to it. It doesn't keep building. It doesn't accumulate anymore. Okay. Well, it, it does, but at June 30, it's set back to 300. Okay. If they don't use it. Okay. I thought you carried oh, okay. over 300 each time. And I was oh. like, well, that, no. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> you yeah. So what chest in dealing with this? What are your recommendations? 
my recommendations are Jen and I went over everything that she and we kind of agreed and changed stuff around based on our conversations. So what she had is what we agreed on. I have to bring it forward to you guys. Everything in red is what the changes are, what the wordage needs to be updated to. Yeah. On your agenda. I don't think it can't go red. And our email is in red, but. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. So page one, it doesn't show that on the bottom, like red there? Uh, page one of that. Okay. Uh, page. Oh, I can't tell. There was a highlighted section, like, I remember reading it. The major hand out there in the center should have to do. Yes, yeah, a lot of what needed to be changed was clarification to make things a little more understood <laughs> yeah the only other part was it has ryan's name in there can you just put what for tear instead of changing it every time yes. oh i didn't even notice that yeah look at you jen yeah, did you hear her it, it's actually highlighted it it was oh <laughs> yeah i put it in the memo it's oh. under section uh 10 conduct of employees oh yep yeah. I, don't, I didn't know if you guys wanted to just change it to select board chair or if you wanted to list the person. Yes. Yeah, just change it yes. to select board chair. Just select board chair. Yeah. Then you don't have to change it every year. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like the tankers. We have to. Oh, I'll make the motion. Uh, uh, the 30 hours. That, that was a highlight of that game. That was just your yeah. If you're up, it was like Janice 30, right? So that's called cool. 30, 32. 32. Okay. But normally 33 was a number that. It is, but Jen, where did you find that? Because that's the new. The, the IRS definition of a full time employee is 30 hours or more. So. It's not 40 anymore. Okay. Well, I, I 32 was the number in my It house. used to be. Yeah. And now it's 30. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That question again, ever. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know this. I always thought it was 32. I knew it wasn't 40 anymore, but I didn't know it was 30. So 32 years like 30. Yep. Um, so I will make a motion um, to accept. The changes to the personnel policy that Jen has brought forth to us. And I'll second it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you guys want to consider putting in sort of some sort of sick leave policy now that we don't have a COVID policy in effect anymore? Are you talking about like where you can gift yours to other employees? I'm sorry, Matt. What? No, they don't. We don't really have a great sick leave policy specified. There was a COVID policy that was added during COVID time, but there's not really a sick leave policy. Just sort of like a guideline so people that, you know, know when to stay home when sick. Oh, and, could and could cover our butts if people are just calling out just because. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's, yeah, let's talk about that more, Jen. Okay. We have something. I think we, we do need to have something. Yeah. Right. Do you have like anything to create something, something for the intern to put together? No. Do you have anything to 
I don't think we do. Oh, what we, we do I'm just thinking some yeah. guidelines to go okay. by. Yeah, because I don't. I looked at mine. We don't have any. You know, so I made myself enough. Just looking at you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. For some of it, some of it, there is an office of mass. <laughs> okay. They need something, but. Uh, what section 15, the, the flexible work schedule and working from home? Mm -hmm. Do we um, that's another one we can talk about, right? Mm -hmm. Not, right, because that came up. So, yeah, do we want to not, but I yeah, say that. <clears throat> But that one wasn't really added, right, Jen? And we were just no. bringing that forward for us to talk about. Yeah, you had got you had mentioned that you wanted me to work on that part, and to me, it, um, the situation that occurred last time, I didn't necessarily agree with. Uh, last payroll, right? Yeah. I, I, um, think this, I think this really would just be making it clear. The, the, the way several of us interpreted the policy is the way we would like to have the policy interpreted. Okay. And you wouldn't want to consider trying to do a flex time between two pay periods, like the, the biweekly rather than weekly. Right now, it's just 40 hours in one week. Oh, so she's saying if you want to work 45 hours one week and 35 hours, yeah, I think that's what she's trying to. I think, yeah, yeah I think that's what we were trying to get to. Yes, yeah. I just don't know. I mean, if we're paying them the overtime in the first week and then just paying them straight time in the second, we should be, yeah. you know, yeah. following the rules that need to be followed for payroll. Yes, I think, there, I think there's legal guidance there. I, I know we deal with that sometimes. You can't bank hours legally. That you actually work, right? Yeah. I Is that what you mean? Yeah, I don't know how to work. Yes. I don't, I don't, I'm not. I just know we deal with that a lot. Are you paid bi-weekly? No. No. So that's the difference. Right. Yeah. So that is the difference. Yeah. Because we used to be weekly. That's where right. I came up with the weekly thing. Is what's yeah. Like, I, maybe it was almost within your pay period. Yeah. yeah. So probably a good thing to run past the lawyer just to make sure we're correct. Okay. okay. That's what I figured. Can you? Susan? Yeah. So we had this discussion, Ron and I had this discussion a while ago um, when we went biweekly because I, one of the things that, you know, we used in the clerk's office, you know, was flex time. So if my assistant you know, had to leave a half an hour early to go pick the kid up from school for whatever reason, you know, my assistant could work the extra half hour, you know, later in the week right. or, you know, whatever. But when we went biweekly, I asked him this exact <laughs> question and he gave me a legal reason why. And I'm telling you right now off the top of my head, I'm sorry that I can't remember his exact words, but if Jen's going to call the attorney, I, there is something about it that Ron said we couldn't do that and I I don't remember what the reason was. Well Jen Jen can find out and Jen and Brett talk to the attorney about it and see say here's here's what we want to accomplish. How do we do this? Especially with the union contracts. Right. That that helpful with it. I see it. Well we can change that we know where we're trying to get yeah. so you yeah. know here's, here's what we want to get we have a union contract how do we need to write it so we get there and when other when anybody's looking at it they understand what we're what we're trying to accomplish so okay. we're doing that change we have a motion to accept the uh the uh the proposed changes and the second is um all in favor, any more discussion? We're good? Okay. All in favor signify and saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Okay. So, so are there changes to the personnel policy being made in that motion? Yes. yes. We're accepting the changes. Yeah, but anything from that discussion? Or just ask no, those are going to be things we're going to discuss later Wait, because those weren't really changes; those were just suggestions she had. Okay. 
Okay, now can we go to six? Now when it is a form to sign um, to close the grand list, saying that there are no lawsuits against the town. We know there's no lawsuits against the town. As far as everything I can tell you, I trust you, but I'm hearing it from your voice. <laughs> <laughs> he ended it with a question mark. Well, you know, it's in your town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I asked the, yeah. ask the guy. <laughs> That's right. I asked this guy. He said, We went with it. Okay, so then what we'll need is a motion to accept PBR 4155. Know how those things work. Yeah, digital office space quotes. Tell us what we're talking about. <laughs> so that one was from a discussion that we had upstairs regarding um, Brent having an office space mm -hmm. and trying to figure out where Stephen would go, possibly having a temporary space for him and moving myself around or something like that, and put this on the agenda in case quotes were received, which I've not seen any. Yeah. Um, and the only thing that I heard about this, because me and Ron talked about it today, was about the ADA compliance tech upgrades. But my suggestion was instead of not not disrespecting our facilities here, but not living in a cell either, and I'm separate from the the staff and everything, is that that we put on future agenda item that you allow me to get a cubicle, a simple desk, and a couple of shelves until. Y'all decide not to continue with the lease with the village. Yeah. And then I can make part of that break room or just take over the break room. And that will, I would be content with that until those changes are made between the, the town and the village. Can we bring the break room down? I was just going to ask that same question. That makes more sense. I know. Oh. And then it's a wait. But if you ever meet right, this place in office space, like make the break room there, even yeah, and then he could have the office space. We could. What what's um sort of as a as a short term, the village has prioritized uh, because they need more space too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they're trying to come up with uh with a plan for what they want to do. Gotcha. Um, and, uh, Brian, oh, Brian told me at the, at the open house that not this week, but next week after town meeting, he thinks they will have a proposal. And one of the things that when, uh, when Ron and Brian and I have been trying to meet every other week <clears throat> was that, and again, because they, they bought their space and they were looking, they were talking about doing space in the village and we just kind of went, Okay, I <laughs> know it's space you're finding in the village. Um, but that one of the options would be, you know, that if down here they could just sort of build the wing out that way, that would leave us, everybody would have access to this. In the, and then we'd have the whole upstairs. They could do their space, they could be independent. So you're telling me the village is going to cover the cost of it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, no. no it's it's not no. Or spending any more money. No, no, no. They, no, this is, you know, the village looking for it. And of course, the village said, since that's our land, you know, how much would we charge them? And I said, well, how much is the fee to the fire station? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> so, anyway, so anyway, there he's in a couple of weeks. Brian will come in and they'll have an idea of what the of what the village wants to do. So I think that's why. And, and Brett knows that. So just kind of yeah. I, I think can we put a timeline on it then, I and mean, we'll look either because if it's two months since if they haven't done something, then we will break her and be a nice Yeah, yeah. I think that's right. See what what Brian has to say because they'll have a timeline for what they think, and then we can all have a timeline. Right. Basically, something like that, dragging. 
to hear. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah, good. I think easily. So, right. And me and Brian have already had a discuss that we wanted to start that uh, leadership meeting right. again okay. when we had to do something. So, moments. we'll uh, we'll see what they have to say, and then. And I think I think you're right. I had thought way back at one time that it would be moving the break room down here. And it would be. Okay. You know, so we have a lot of agreement that this doesn't need to be an action item. We just keep it on the forefront. Yes, sir. Okay. On to the next. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is good. Okay, the newsletter. We made the there updates and changes. Yep. The only thing missing is an update from the vote crew. No set this morning, so I sent Mark an email asking for some type of input, what he prefer, what he might want in there. Yeah, we need to Updates from the vote crew. Yes. I can I send an email on that or get Mark too. But other than that, what you think? I, I like it. It's, you know, the, the more we do for reaching out to people, the better. Justin? Yes. Can I suggest a different font? Please. Yeah. That's kind, I mean, it's kind of hard to read, especially if you're going to read a whole entire newsletter in that font. Okay. Yeah, just a traditional Arial or Times Roman. Yeah, Arial, Calibri. Helvetica or whatever that one is, those are pretty easy reading. Ariel, those are easy reading ones. Um, thank you. And I put your hours on as Monday through Friday, eight to four in my appointment. Is that how you would like your hours to be presented to the public? Eight to four, eight to five, whichever is most convenient for the time. Yes. Well, you should put your for burn burns. Yeah, that'll be coming up next. That's a good March one. Okay. Want to approve minutes? Uh, yes. Some of those minutes. Some Except 124, I, we, that we couldn't do those. You we can on here. I can make the motion to approve the one point four one. Okay. Um all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Maybe no what was here. Okay. I am abstaining because I was here. Saying yeah. Saying. I was here with you. On the phone. Okay. That was a 24. And then I will make the motion yeah. to approve uh, February 13th, next. I'll second those. I'm abstaining. Okay. Yes. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Except what? what? Rolly wasn't here. Were you here? Yes, you were yeah, here. Yeah. I take it back. You must have been really quiet at that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> he missed me. I was like, wait. He missed me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, I'm We couldn't hold on at that night because Matt was. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> we didn't have enough men. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay, did we do all in favor signify by saying aye? Aye. And uh, anybody opposed and met some state. Okay. Town warrants. We have a question, right? Uh, yes, I know me and Jen yes. and we were Jim Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on up. So we just went. And I think that's in the bottom of the pile too. If y'all want to think. Okay. Well, previously, my maintenance budget's already been used up pretty much because of a eight thousand six hundred fifty-two dollar bill for our taker. Back in. Eight thousand. What's wrong with that? Uh, it was in November. 
November, yeah. The dash cluster stopped working, the air conditioner stopped working, brakes. Uh, brakes all the way Breaks all the way around. Versus anybody here, they're not very good. Okay. And so then the freight liner they just inside over just went down because the fuel tank was leaking. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Muffa had a hole on it. Okay. That bill was $6,305. Nine minutes there. For a new fuel tank in Muffa. Jesus, man. So Jen suggested that maybe try to use some ARPA money for this that year instead of that's going to put them in the maintenance budget only by six thousand dollars. <laughs> but these trucks are twenty twenty five years old. Yeah, that's going to start happening. Yeah, that's, you know. So the only way to put where was thousand dollars? Where was the fuel tank leak? Right behind this. Sticker, they got the straps. Very good. I don't know why they do that. I guess, I guess we need to accept six thousand dollars. It was six hundred thousand dollars. So, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. Kind, of, kind of saved it. You get the that's what I was talking to Jen. You know, about it now. She's like, you know, I would ask them to have the money to pay this next bill. Okay, so you don't have to try to scrap your budget. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're already. But we still got four yeah, five right. right, right. And hopefully we don't have any more repairs. Yeah, well that that makes but perfect sense to me. This is the day and age where getting everything costs a lot of money. You can't do nothing yourself anymore. Right. Right. But it's no more going to the shop and have a thousand dollar repair value or four or five, six thousand dollars and everything we got. So do we just do we need to Agree the use of the funds. Yeah, we've got yeah. a promotion. Is that yeah. what yeah. we do for that if we want yeah. to do that? Is that exactly what you said? It makes more sense if I mean, it's a hundred thousand. The money needs to be allocated this year, so why not? Well, that's, that's yeah, that's right. Okay, so just, just to be safe, again, we'll do it, we'll do it as a motion, and then you know you're okay using our money for that. I'll make the motion to. Cover the please. Yeah, And that's all that's all of it. Okay, so not to exceed, just say eight thousand dollars just to be safe. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody code? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Well, 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 we're gonna be up here. Um, the, the underground tank, we just got the whole business just sort of follow us because we had, and everything's okay with that. We, yeah. It is a fiberglass tank double line, so there should be no okay, issues. As long as the intersection, so the area between the tank, there's like a gap in there. As long as there's no fuel in there, you're gonna go anymore. I think Ron kept that on there too, just to keep that in your mind that you may have to replace it at some time in the years or decommission or decommission it. Or still building it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think it's like 30 years old, but I, I talked to the state lady and she said, as long as it keeps, she said, the things will last a long time. Yeah. And I think if it does fail, I think there's state money out there to help you replace it any of this stuff. So she said the town won't have to be cost if any. Okay. It's nice to hear for change, isn't it? Did you, did you get that email you know, that we knew in your contract? We knew in the same way. Yes. We are okay. Yeah. Um okay. Um any other questions with the warrants or Jen's memo? The insurance stuff will be something I think is we should probably have Jen's offer that she'll look into it. Yeah. I guess I am fine with her looking into it. I mean, I just, if we're ever going to vote on it, we kind of got to know what the costs are. So if that's something that, if that's one of the things that I think that's a time. Yep. 
that work for you, Jen? Yeah, so you want me to contact insurance companies and yeah. see? Okay. I'll bring you back more information. Just to repeat that, <clears throat> um, motion made by Savannah not to exceed $8,000 of auto funds for highway vehicle repairs. Fire fire, fire. fire. Thank you. I guess on this other hand. <laughs> oh, we need to do the liquor license. Do a motion to accept the warrants. Oh, yes, right. Can I get it? Okay, I have a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All right. Everybody opposed? Everybody right. standing? Okay, liquor license. Okay. And nothing needs to be signed, just a motion to okay. advance. Just a motion to approve it. Same as always, I assume. No change. No change. All this is their application. So. That, is, that is the VFW um, outside consumption permit, that little fenced uh, off patio that they have up there. Yeah. So there's, with, there's a new system, there's new software, as well as because of the flooding, certain towns, Hyde Park and Johnson were part of them. Um, the deadline to do their annual filing for the liquor license has been, been extended. Um, so right now that's the only one we have. VFW normally has a, three of them. And then there's a couple of others in town, including two sons and then um, the brewery up in the yeah. industrial area up there. Yeah. But I don't have anything from them, but because this has been sitting out there and spring's coming, I want to make sure that if you're going to approve it, that they get this so they can use their outdoor. Is that something that Ron reached out to people in the past? Like just they naturally do. I think they naturally do. They yeah. have to speak yeah, well, that's why I wondered if it's something that we maybe just don't bring it oh, in here. We can put it on a newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if there's something that I need to address or just send out a friendly reminder, I don't mind doing that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because I, I are you thinking talking about last this, year this specific year type of permit or are you talk about any and all? Well, it's not just a liquor license one. Because, like, I know two sons, I think last time he was like, I haven't seen that. I just texted Bill and Bill's like, oh. Yeah, it's about something as we haven't gotten it. We said, hey, where's two sons? Right, right. So as clerk, those documents come to me oh. and I send out notices to them. I sent out notices on January, well, 2nd or whatever the first day after the holiday was. So um, oh. as clerk, it's my responsibility to send them notices and reminders. But again, um, the state has extended their current licenses so that they don't have to reapply until a little bit later than normal, which is one reason why I'm guessing other people haven't submitted it because there's the, the deadline has been extended. Okay. Can we make a motion and a second on that? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Do you folks want to officially hire Dean Locke as the health officer for a point? Well, I think we have to appoint him, right? Yes, you offered it and you said he wanted to think about it. Yeah, yeah. So we need a, a motion to appoint Dean Locke as our Hyde Park's health officer. Yes. Uh, yes. And something else? We already, he's already. Oh, we already appointed him for that. Already yes. doing the animal control. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, well, there he is. That's right. All right. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? 
Okay. Now, let me see. I think we're, we need to, we need to go into executive session. Do you have to announce anything on the eclipse that's on the meeting? Do you want to say anything? Uh, we got boxes yet? I think Kim did. Somebody yeah, asked. Has Kim, did the glasses come yet? I saw a bunch of people posting. Like, really they just arrived today. Oh. <clears throat> My wife will be down tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I didn't know if I should do this. So if I'm out of line, please correct me. I know y'all will. Uh, since we do have a lot of uh, employees that do have children, since this is a one lifetime event, we would like to make that. I would like to request that we make that a holiday for the employees of the town of Five Parks so they can be with their kids. Schools are getting even though it's three minutes. I, mean, I still yeah, think it'd be, it'd be a good opportunity for that right. to be well, a family. We close at noon. Or, yeah, I think it's probably close at noon, sort of a sort of a thing. But what's what school getting? Do you know? Well, I'm saying it's they're getting out of 11? Yeah. Oh. Whatever their half day is. Yeah, yeah, that's first school, whatever their half day. Yeah, let's just match it up with the with the schools. Yeah. So okay. that, um, I just feel it'd be a good gesture to our employees. Yeah. Yeah. No, we talked about that, but what's going to be interesting is you all may end up coming back into work because what we don't know and and uh Kim and Amy and uh or have been talking about you know, this whole thing, impossible events or whatever, anything happens. And they're meeting tomorrow at the library and I was going to go, but something's come up and I can't. So Brent's going to go and I don't know, Ryan, okay, and Ryan's going to go because the, the potential for a lot of people stuck on the side of the roads and in fields is quite real. And, uh, and just for, you know, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I don't know. I don't see these people on the record. The state sent out a memo saying that yeah. they're expecting a lot of car accidents. The yes. state did too. Oh, nice. wow. Oh, yeah. Can they're expecting a couple hundred thousand people. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. this yeah. northern part of Vermont is like, yeah, not in the center. Southern yeah. Vermont is here. It's like 50 or 200,000, is what they said. They yeah. got a huge gap, they like said. I'm going to be in my Nope, they're like to establish four flights to leave from Detroit going to Hope. Right. We're going to put parking signs. Yeah. So well, if so the airlines are going to take advantage of it. Yeah. Because right. you don't fly from oh, Detroit to Detroit, 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 Normal night stay was like one hundred and fifty dollars, six hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, people are you know people are cashing in, but but again, but they're 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 I don't think they're going to travel on the back road. Maybe I think you will find you are wrong. Uh, just from one that happened down south and friends that live down south, and you just don't believe where people drive. It'd be a good time to lease a couple of tow trucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, well, we jump back in the truck. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel like the weird thing is going well in the yeah. picture. Yeah. I think, I mean, seriously, just have to do it. Think about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, since it's not regulated, I could get a couple. So yeah. Here in Vermont, like it is in Texas, it's regulated. Here in Vermont, it's not. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think, anyway, just for, just for folks to be aware of it, we'll have him as saying, okay, the glasses have come in. We're going to have them here at the office, but take them to town meeting, too. And of course, I have them here when people come in to vote. Oh, yes, there are there are plenty of places you can. But I think we're good. <laughs> okay. We need to we need to do a, an executive session to talk about this gentleman here right yes. here. Yes, we do. Okay. We're going to ask you to lead. Yeah. Sorry, we don't want you to get too yeah. sweaty. Right. <laughs> well, that's right. Right. When right. can we have him say we got to get it? We got to get a hold of that. He pled it. Okay, I missed that. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah.
Okay. A motion to go in. I'll make a motion to go into executive session okay. with select board members only or Brett, Brett. 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 Yeah. Brett. Okay. Everybody but Justin. Because <laughs> we have to get people off the gift. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll second. I'll second. Need a second. Okay. All the Recording two. stopped. Um, yeah. Bye. Bye, guys, ladies. We adjourn. It's very Please last second. meeting. Second, right. Second, thank you, people. For, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Yeah. 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 We'll, be, okay. we'll be at town meeting. Yeah. That'll be it. That'll be it. You'll sit at the table with us one last time.